Once you know what ratios are and how to work with them and even how to problem solve, then you get to a point where you need to look at those ratios and do something with them. And sometimes you're given a ratio that is actually a percent and you need to be able to convert that to a fraction or to a decimal. And so in this video, you're going to see how I'm going to convert percent and do some conversions and using the ratio percent as, a ra as, as something that you can work with. So let's look first of all, before I start that, at what this ratio percent is. And um, as you heard before, I, I spoke a little bit of, I, I actually put that into um, French before, percent, and so we have a ratio of percent is also known as a percent. And cent is, or cent is 100. And so it really is saying a per, which is like a, a fraction if you have three per, um, let's say 100, just like your ratio, three per 100. You have a per cent, which is a per 100. Now that really is what uh, percentage is all about. But we're not going to, I'm going to actually go through examples with you to explain this a little bit more. And also, that's how the symbol came about. The per, the sort of like a, an angled uh, fraction symbol, a fraction line, and the song is 100, and 100 has two zeros. So there's the zero, and there's the zero. Percent. Percent. Now, let's look at an example of 67%. Now you know what those, where those come from. So if you write that as a ratio, you've got 67 per 100. And if you write that as a fraction from there, as you know, you can just write it 67 divided by 100. Now it becomes very useful. And as a decimal, 67 divided by 100 is 0 0.67. So 67% is 0.67 as a number. And once you convert it to a number, then you can use it in your algebra and problem solving and a lot of different things. But you need to know how to convert it. And also, you'll need to know at some times how to convert it back from a decimal or from a fraction to a percent so that it has some meaning at the end as to what you're trying to look for. So now, let's look at how you do those conversions. So you start off with a very simple little example, which is 8%. Now 8%, just do a little bit of work on the side, is saying, the same as saying 8 divided by 100. And that, well actually no, it's, that is basically 8 divided by 100. So as a decimal, you've got 0 0.08. And as a fraction, it is just 8 divided by 100, which is when you reduce 8 divided by 100, you get 4 goes into 8 twice and 4 goes into 125 times. So you've got 2 over 25, right? Now, when you've got 0.4% here, it's basically the same thing. You're going to divide by 100, so when you're moving into a decimal, you always divide by 100. And when you divide by 100, that decimal place moves over to the left, just like it did in the first one, two places. But because it started here before, you need to add two zeros so it can move two places, one, two, and 0.4 divided by 100 is 0 0.004. And that's your decimal form. As a fraction, 0.4 percent, I'm going to write only the percentages out, out here for you from now on, 0.4 percent um, is, it's really like saying um, 0 0.4, let's do a little bit of work on the outside here, over 100, and that's your fraction form, but you can't write a fraction with a decimal in it. So what you want to do is, it's just improper to write it. So you want to write this so it has no decimal, so you need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by, one, by 10 to move that decimal over to 4, so it becomes 4. So you have 4 over 1,000 is your fraction form, but that's not reduced, so what you'll want to do is reduce that, 4 goes into 4 once and into 1,250 times. All right, now let's get to the next one, 3 over 11. Now, actually, before I get 
to this 3 over 11. I do want to say that this normally, 0.4%, when you're writing your percentages, and if we ask you for a percent, we really would like that as a fraction. So 4 tenths percent or 2 over 5 percent is really what you would end up writing as a fractional form as a percent. Okay, so let's look at this one, 3 over 11 percent. Well, 3 over 11 percent, if you write that as a decimal form, that is the same as 0 0.27 repeating percent. And if you know that's 27 repeating percent, now you just have to move the decimal over twice again, just like you did for this one. This is a little com more complicated because you have one more step, so you have to move it over twice. And don't forget that repeating afterwards. So the same rules here, you divide by 100, except you have to convert this to a, a, a decimal first, then divide by 100, and when you divide by 100, you get that. Now, you can take this fraction form and convert that to a fraction over here. And basically, all you want to do is take this fraction and then divide 3 over 11 by 100. And that's the same as saying multiply by 1 over 100. So when you do that, you get 3 over 1100, and that's in a reduced form because 1100 is not divisible by 3. Let's go to the next one. And this one, if you write it down as a decimal, you've got 3 point, and then 7 twelfths is what you need to have here, and that is 5, 8 with a 3 repeating. Now, that is a percentage form in decimal form. And if you have that in decimal form, now all you have to do is move that decimal place over twice. And when you move the decimal place over twice, you get 0 0.0358 with that 3 still repeating here. Okay? And now to convert it to a fraction form, you want to go back to this fraction. And when you go back to the fraction, you want to rewrite that as an improper fraction first. And when you write it as improper fraction, then you can divide by 100 and you've got your fraction over here. So if you're going to write this as an improper fraction, you need to have 12 times 3, which is 36, plus 7 is 43 over 12 percent. And now you just multiply the denominator by 100 and you've got 43 over 1,200. So you've just taken the 43 over 12 percent and you, you basically divide by 100 or you multiply the denominator by 100. That's the same thing. Now, for the next one, you're going to go the other way. So you've got three quarters to start off with and you want to write that as a decimal. Well, hopefully, if you know your decimal equivalents, is equal to 0.75. If you don't, you say 3 divided by 4. Do your long division. Do something, and you'll get the answer. All right, 0.75. And like what you did here, you need to move this decimal place over now, because in this case, you're going to be multiplying by 100. But when, uh, when you're moving in this direction, then multiply by 100. When you moved in the other direction, divide by 100. So your decimal place, when you multiply by 100, will move in this direction to the right two places. So that's 75%. When you get to the next one, you have 3 and 4 sevenths. Well, that's 3 point, And 4 sevenths is 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, 8, all repeating. Okay, so that's just a quick conversion. Again, that is your decimal equivalence. And if you don't know your decimal equivalence, I would recommend that you start memorizing them as soon as you can. Right, so you've got that. Now, this is the tricky part because here, going from here to here, you first of all want to figure out what that is as a decimal, and then you have to write it as a fraction. So I'm going to actually use a different color here so you can see the work that, that needs to be done. You first need to multiply by 100 to convert it to a, a percent, so you're going to move this decimal place over. So when you move that decimal place over, you've got 3.57, whoops, 
You've got 357 decimal, because you're moving it over twice, 142857, because this is 5714285714428. So you need to include that 57 in that repeating. And notice how it's still repeating, but it's repeating from a different place now. Okay, so what you've got is 357 decimal 142857 percent. Now, that percent has to be written as a fraction. So to write that as a fraction, you have 357 and 1.142857 is 1 seventh, and that's your percent. It's kind of neat, eh? So careful, because here you started with 3 and 4 sevenths, and you ended up with 357 and 1 seventh. So watch out where that decimal ends up, and you will get the right answer if you just watch it carefully. Now, for this last one, you've, you've got the middle number, and you're going to have to go in this direction or in this direction. Well, to start off with, um, the 4.1963 when you multiply by 100, that decimal moves over, so you've got 419. And when it moves over, you will have 0.63 repeating. Now, 0.63 repeating is a 7 elevenths. So just immediately write it down. If you can do that on your own, again, your decimal equivalence helps. So you've got 419 and 7 elevenths percent is equal to 4.1963 repeating. Now, when you want to get to this fraction, you can either come from here or you can come from here. It's up to you. I'm going to show you both ways. If you come from here, you first have to rewrite this as an improper fraction because it does not work to just multiply this 11 by 100. That's my biggest warning for you. So rewrite this as an improper fraction, and when you do that, you get 4,616 over 11 percent. This is your work that you would do on the side. And now you can take that and multiply the denominator by 100, and you would get 4,616 divided by 1,100. Then you have to reduce and, and first of all make it into a mixed fraction and then reduce and you get your answer. Or if you wanted to take this one, you could actually take this and rewrite this as a fraction right away if you know how to do converting um, decimals with um, repeating decimals to fraction. And basically if you're going to do that you would have 4 and 1, 9, 6, 3 minus the 19 all over you have 2 non-repeating and 2 repeating. So 2 repeating is 9, 9, non-repeating is 0, 0. And once you figure that out, you'll actually get the same answer here. And when you reduce and you put it into mixed form, you get 4 and 54 over to 75 as your answer. So those are conversions. Just be careful that you take your time because it's the detail that will make the difference. Have fun.